All right, so today I'm replacing a window regulator and assembly on a 2006 Buick Rendezvous. There's a screw and two bolts holding this panel in, along with a bunch of little plastic clips. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the bolts. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. This whole project took about an hour. Uh, I've edited it down to 11 minutes and sped up the footage so you can get on with your day and your projects. Alright, got the screws out. Just need to pop these little plastic clips off so I can get the panel off. Alright, well now I've got the panel off. I'm going to turn on the engine so I can lower the, uh, the pulley system to the point where I can get the window out. So like I said, the uh, window had come out of the brackets and it was just sitting in there. It always helps to have a extra hand turn this panel around to unclip all the electrical. Now I'm going to remove this plastic sheet. It's just going to get in the way. Alright, there's going to be five screws holding the assembly in. One for the motor and four for the pulley system. Using the 10 millimeter socket. And on these top ones, it'd be real easy to lose the screw in there so be really careful and get the screw out so I'm just grabbing some needle nose to pull it out before it drops into the panel and I save the uh, screw for the motor for last so I need to get the electrical disconnected on there. Oh, there we go. Now I can drop that bolt out and uh, pull the whole assembly through the door panel. And I'm going to lay this on the ground exactly how it came out so that I can stack up my new one, make sure everything lines up, and to make sure that I'm uh, putting it in in the same direction I took it out. A little tight, but it, e it eases in there. No problem. And I'm going to start with the uh, bolt that holds the motor. And then uh, 
attach the electrical I'm going to line up my bolt holes and screw in the pulley system. And do the same thing on the other side. You can see it's a real tight fit, but just take your time, get that bolt in there. I took the socket off of the uh, socket wrench so that I could get a better shot at the hole. And uh, worked out all right. And I got uh, the assembly in. I'm going to have to put the panel back on so I can reattach the uh, electrical so that I can move the uh, brackets and with the new motor to the level that I need them so that I can drop the glass into the brackets. But I have to put this plastic sheet on before I put the panel on. Alright, reattach the uh, electrical to the panel. Alright, well, now i got to turn the car on. That way I can test the new motor, move the brackets up to the level that I need them. Now inside these uh, brackets, which I'm loosening right now, there's a little rubber gasket. I need to make sure that I have those open and ready to receive the glass. Now I'm going to drop the glass into the level where the brackets are. And the glass should be just sitting on top of the brackets at this point. <coughs> So I need to adjust the glass into the brackets, making sure that I'm getting uh, it all the way down into the bracket and into the rubber gasket. At that point, I can go ahead and tighten the brackets up, secure the glass, I don't know, it's hard to see on that one, but this one, you can see what I'm talking about. All right, well, now I've got my brackets tightened down, glass is secure, I'm testing the window. It works, so this is time to reattach the uh, plastic clips around on the panel and replace the bolts that I took out. Like I said, this is a 2006 Buick Rendezvous. Um, I assume that most power windows will be similar to replace, but I don't know 100%. Some might have some different problems that you might have to work out. This one seemed uh, pretty straightforward.
All right, well, I'm just getting my final bolts uh, in there, and the project is done. Like I said, it took about an hour. Um, I just sped it up to uh, get the key points. Good luck with your projects, and have a great day.